We have another five flights. Um, don't bump your head. It's unlike any other office on campus and not very easy to get to. But for University Carolyn Erd Tinshi Tam, playing music from the Campanile is one of her passions. The, the sound of the bells are perfect. I mean, it's just one of the lovely sounds that I, I like. Keeping the bells sounding perfect isn't easy, though. That's where Don Swem comes in. For the last 44 years, Swem has been maintaining carillons all over the country. He may not work as fast as he used to. I still breathe hard when I get to the top. I don't run up them anymore. But he can tell when something is wrong with a bell just by listening to it. There's a peculiar sound when it's not right. You don't necessarily know what's wrong, but you can tell there's something that's not right. And nobody knows when there's something wrong with the bells better than the woman who plays them every day. The bells sound different. I mean, if you play it every day, you can tell the little difference. And someday it will sound uh, very sweet, and the other day it just have a character, maybe a little bit more hoarse. When the carol is playing, she's hearing rattles and clanks and stuff that are inner music that shouldn't be there. You should be hearing the music from the bells, not the clickety-clacks. To get rid of those clickety-clacks, Don spends the next several days climbing up and squeezing around all 50 bells in the campanile, checking wires, greasing fittings, and cleaning the entire instrument. It's physically difficult work to get the bells sounding perfect again, but while he works, Don gets to listen to the concert from the best seat in the house. Very nice. This is good. For Iowa State News Service, I'm Dave Olson.